Good Tuesday afternoon and thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Nick Oresco. Nice Labor Day yesterday. That kind of that weather kind of spilled into today. Let's bring in meteorologist Brian Lapis. Looks like this week, Brian, looks pretty quiet. Yeah, really quiet. A lot of dry air, a lot of clear sky, calm winds. And of course, we don't run into any rain chances until the weekend. You got it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the traffic right now and you can see here that as we get back into the groove here, back to work, back to school, no problems. Actually getting ready for the evening commute. 91 north and southbound is fine. Pike from Stockbridge to Sturbridge is also in good shape. Let's take a look at temperatures right now. As expected, we're in the low to mid 70s up and down the valley. A little bit cooler in the Berkshire, 69 degrees in Pittsfield. And as uh, Nick and I were just mentioning, clear air everywhere. Wow, what a day. Hopefully you can get out and enjoy some of this fresh air. After work, we'll update you on what's ahead for the rest of the week with the 22 News Storm Team Skycast. Today is the Massachusetts State primary and voters are going to the polls. There are four contested races for voters in Western Massachusetts, one statewide primary for the Republican in the U.S. Senate, and three Democratic legislative primaries for residents of Western Massachusetts. Two of them are in Hamden County, one of them in the Berkshires. It's important just uh, we've had a few, both all of the candidates have visited us at our home and, and spent some time go out there. So I think, uh, you know, it's good to back them up and, and, and show our civic responsibility to, to have a voice in government. Before the primary today, more than 468,000 residents voted through a mail-in ballot. In-person polling locations will stay open tonight until 8 o'clock. The man allegedly involved in the deadly hit and run in Springfield last night was in court this morning. Springfield Police spokesman Ryan Walsh told 22 News 18 year old Nathan Cologne was arrested after police allege he hit and killed a woman with his car and then took off. Cologne is charged with leaving the scene of a personal injury crash causing death and motor vehicle homicide by reckless operation. He's being held on a $10,000 bail and was also scheduled to have his license taken away Friday. The suspect just turned 18 years old and is a senior at Ludlow High School. PBTA workers are voting today on a tentative deal that was struck this past weekend. That deal called off a strike that was meant to start Sunday. Workers say negotiations have been ongoing for months, but the final contract offer from PBTA last week did not meet their expectations for salary or benefits. DGR, the contracting group for the PBTA, says their offer included a 5% wage increase, but workers were asking for at least 18%. It wasn't until a federal mediator stepped in that a deal was reached late Saturday night. One person is dead and two others still missing after a boat accident in Old Saybrook, Connecticut. The accident happened as the boat was coming from Long Island last night. The boat was found half submerged and significantly damaged near the Harbor One Marina. Nine people were on the boat at the time of that crash. A man was found dead inside the vessel. Six others were taken to the hospital. Two people again remain missing. Let's check back in with meteorologist Brian Lapis. So some good news if you have any plans really this entire week. It looks pretty good. Yeah, actually, this was probably a pretty good week to take <laughs> off vacation. And uh, we've got the sunshine and dry air on the way in here uh, through the end of the week. 22 News Storm Team Skycast tells the story very well. Five o'clock here this afternoon. Temperatures low 70s, mostly clear skies, a mostly clear evening. With the clear sky and the breeze backing off, dry air in place will cool down into the 60s and even 50s here fairly quickly tonight. Overnight lows will be in the 40s and 50s early tomorrow morning. Sunshine again here tomorrow. Little push of air out of the south, especially in the afternoon. That may result in a couple of clouds here and there, and it'll be a warmer day with a high of 76 to 80, and it looks like we'll be up around 80 again uh, Thursday and Friday. We'll update on 22 News at 5. Legendary hot dog eating champion Joey Chestnut has set the hot dog eating world record. He beat his previous record eating 83 hot dogs in 10 minutes, Brian. Chestnut beat out Kobayashi, who finished with 67. Three years ago, he downed a then world record eating 76 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. With the victory, Chestnut earned $100,000 in prize money, a hot dog shaped trophy, and a WWE designed championship title belt. 
Barbie is celebrating her 65th anniversary this year, and Krispy Kreme is teaming up with Mattel on a new co collection. Starting today, four new donuts inspired by Barbie will be available for a limited time. And this Saturday, all customers who wear pink and visit a participating Krispy Kreme can get a free donut. Coming up tonight, starting at 5 o'clock, today was the Massachusetts State Primary. We'll have what you need to know about today's voting as we inch closer to the general election in November. Plus, at the State House in Boston, we'll bring you the details on a long-term care bill that recently passed on Beacon Hill. And the Big E, just 10 days away now, see what you can expect at the fairgrounds this year, Brian. Traffic moving fine here as we approach the evening commute. I-91 north and southbound looking good. 391, 291 also in good shape. And the pike from Stockbridge to Sturbridge running smoothly. We'll update our forecast as we head into the middle of the week on 22 News at 5. Brian, as always, thank you and thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4 o'clock. Latest news and weather anytime on our website and the free 22 News app.